A supposed comet is catching the attention of some of the nation's most renowned scientists. As one Harvard professor is raising the theory, this may actually be a piece of alien technology. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is the arrival of 3i Atlas stirring up what could be the biggest controversy in modern astronomy? After all, we've already had our jaws drop with the mysterious appearances of one I Umuamua in 2017 and 2i Borisov in 2019. Here's the catch. 3i Atlas is no ordinary visitor. It's a record-breaking speedster. Zipping through space at a hyperbolic excess velocity of about 58 kilometers per second, it leaves both Borisov, 32.3 kilometers per second, and Oumuamua, 26.33 kilometers per second, in the cosmic dust when it comes to interstellar cruising speed. But the speed is just the beginning. What makes 3i Atlas truly jaw-dropping is its sheer scale and brightness. According to infrared data from the Hubble Space Telescope, its icy nucleus spans somewhere between 320 meters and 5.6 kilometers, with the most likely size hovering under a kilometer. Despite being nearly 490 million kilometers from Earth, it shines far brighter than scientists expected. Based on how much sunlight it reflects, early estimates even suggested it could stretch up to 20 kilometers across, making it between 100 and 200 times larger than Oumuamua, and 50 to 100 times bigger than Borisov. But the biggest question on everyone's mind, does 3i Atlas actually contain water? All signs point to yes. Multiple independent observations confirm the presence of water ice, water vapor, and hydroxide ions in its coma. Ultraviolet imaging from the Neil Garrels Swift Observatory picked up hydroxide ion emissions around 3,085 angstroms, a reliable proxy for water, when the comet was still about 3.5 astronomical units from the Sun. At that distance, water ice typically doesn't sublimate efficiently, yet Atlas was producing water at a rate of about 40 kilograms per second. That level of activity suggests an active surface area of at least 19 square kilometers, meaning over 20% of its surface is venting water vapor into space. The Gemini South Telescope and NASA's Infrared Telescope facility backed this up, spotting spectral signatures pointing to large water ice grains mixed into the coma. Their data suggests that roughly 30% of the coma dust is made up of ice. The spectral fingerprint even aligns with a mix of meteorite material and water ice, painting a compelling picture of just how rich in water this interstellar wanderer really is. This evidence is further reinforced by 3i Atlas's comet-like behavior. David Jewett of UCLA analyzing Hubble data showed that the object displays textbook signs of cometary activity. His team discovered that the nucleus is surrounded by a coma made of gas and icy dust, released as the sun heats its surface and triggers sublimation of volatile ices. Hubble images captured a dust plume facing the sun and a faint tail trailing behind the nucleus, both classic markers of a comet in action. The dust loss rate observed is comparable to comets typically detected around 300 million miles from the Sun. This suggests that despite being an interstellar interloper, 3i Atlas behaves very much like the comets native to our own solar system. Jewett also emphasized that although Atlas is racing through space at extraordinary speed and has been adrift for billions of years, its activity is strikingly similar to that of local comets. Here's the real game changer. The water ice appears to be chemically pristine. Unlike solar system comets, it lacks the heavy isotope markers we usually detect. This hints that the water may have formed billions of years ago in a completely different stellar environment, offering us a rare, direct glimpse into how planetary systems might have taken shape elsewhere in the galaxy. But is simply finding water enough to classify 3i Atlas as a natural object? especially when not everything about it adds up. Even though it shows comet-like behavior and carries water ice, its orbital path 
raises eyebrows. 3. Iatlas's trajectory is almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk in which most planets orbit the Sun. The odds of such alignment happening by random chance? Roughly 0.2%. More specifically, its orbit is tilted only about 5 degrees from the ecliptic, yet it travels on a retrograde path, an inclination of about 175 degrees, almost the exact opposite of the planet's usual direction. That level of precision is hard to brush off as a coincidence. Could it hint at something beyond natural origin, perhaps even technology far ahead of ours? Possibly. Adding to the mystery its orbital eccentricity, the measure of how stretched its path is sits at a staggering 6.14. By comparison, typical solar system comets have eccentricities under 1 elliptical orbits, while Oumuamua registered 1.2 and Borisov 3.4. What does that mean in practice? 3. I Atlas is moving so fast on such an extreme path that it's not gravitationally bound to the Sun. It's just passing through, an interstellar drifter that will leave our solar system behind and never return. Thankfully, it poses no threat to Earth. Its closest approach to the Sun, or perihelion, is about 1.36 astronomical units between Earth and Mars, and its trajectory brings it near Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, but not anywhere dangerously close to us. Statistically, the odds that a random interstellar object would come this close to three major planets is only about 0.005%, a mere 1 in 20,000 chance. So what we're witnessing may be nothing more or less than a rare fleeting visit from a true wanderer of the stars. And if 3i Atlas were actually some kind of probe or spacecraft, that could help explain the origin of the dust and ice, including the water ice, seen around it. Really? Harvard professor Avi Loeb and his colleagues have floated a controversial idea. The dust and ice we're observing might not be native to the object at all. Instead, they could simply be material it picked up during its long trek through interstellar space. In this scenario, the water wouldn't be part of its original composition, but rather space junk that clung to the surface of an artifact over millions or even billions of years. That opens up another big question. Is the water scientists are detecting truly coming from the nucleus itself, or only from the coma's ice grains gathered along the way? Another point that supports Avi's hypothesis comes from the timing of three I Atlas's water vapor and hydroxide emissions. In most comets, these emissions are triggered by the sun's intense heat. But in the case of 3i Atlas, they were detected much later and at a much greater distance from the Sun than expected. The first detections came around July 31st and August 1st, 2025, when the comet was about 3.5 astronomical units away, 3.5 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. At that distance, conditions are normally far too cold for water ice to sublimate efficiently from a comet's nucleus. This deepens the mystery. Are the gas and dust we're observing truly from water ice, or could they be from something else entirely? NASA's Spherex mission added to the puzzle in mid-August 2025, when it revealed that 3i Atlas has a massive extended carbon dioxide coma, stretching at least 348,000 kilometers around the object. This indicates it is venting huge amounts of carbon dioxide into space, making the gas especially prominent in near-infrared observations. Yes, SphereX also confirmed the presence of water ice in the nucleus, but in several cases, carbon dioxide emissions were far stronger than water. This points to 3i Atlas being a carbon-rich comet, one that produces significantly more carbon dioxide than water vapor at certain distances from the sun. That's not unheard of, but the dominance of carbon dioxide over water in its coma makes it particularly remarkable. However, the carbon-rich composition of 3i Atlas is not the only paradox challenging what we thought we knew. When you factor in the brightness and size paradox of the 3i Atlas, along with contradictions to interstellar population models, 
a much bigger question starts to form. To estimate the size of space objects, scientists typically assume they shine by reflecting sunlight, just like the moon reflects the sun's light. By measuring how bright the object looks from Earth, they can infer its size. For the three-eye atlas, if it were simply reflecting sunlight, then to appear as bright as it does, the comet would need to be enormous, around 20 kilometers 12 miles across, roughly the size of a small city. But here's the issue. Such a size directly clashes with interstellar population models. According to astrophysicist Avi Loeb, the chances of encountering a genuine interstellar asteroid that massive are virtually zero. The available rocky material drifting between the stars just doesn't support it. His calculations suggest that something on this scale might only pass through our solar system once every 10,000 years. For perspective, the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago was only about half that size. This makes the brightness of the three-eye atlas a real paradox if it's only reflecting sunlight. That's why Avi Loeb and his colleague Eric Keto have put forward a bold, controversial idea. They argue that the brightness profile of three-eye atlas actually matches an object producing its own light, not just reflecting the sun's. If true, this would mean the three-eye atlas could be dramatically smaller, perhaps just a few hundred meters instead of 20 kilometers. And if that's the case, it completely reshapes the probability models and opens the door to some truly mind-boggling possibilities. Is 3i Atlas really a water-rich comet from another star? Or is there a cosmic mystery hiding beneath the surface? Scientists are still scratching their heads as contradictory observations leave us with more questions than answers. As this interstellar visitor races toward the sun, powerful observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and the Vera Rubin Observatory are gearing up for a showdown that could finally unravel the truth. The object's closest approach to the Sun, called perihelion, is expected in late October 2025. At that time, it will safely pass inside the orbit of Mars, yet remain a comfortable distance from Earth, around 1.8 astronomical units away, meaning no threat, just opportunity. An unprecedented cosmic messenger, 3L Atlas, invites scientists and space enthusiasts alike to study matter carried from the depths of interstellar space right here in our cosmic backyard. Will the upcoming close encounter clear the clouds around its watery enigma or deepen the mystery? Stay tuned, because the story of 3I Atlas is far from over. Water presence is a critical but contested clue about the nature of 3I Atlas. Multiple observations detect water, ice, and vapor, indicating active sublimation and suggesting a comet-like nature with possibly some of the oldest water seen outside our solar system. However, other studies highlight dominant carbon dioxide emissions and the possibility that observed water signatures come from extended coma ice grains rather than the nucleus. This leads to a paradox where existing evidence points both for and against typical cometary water sublimation. Consequently, the object's true origin remains unknown and open to interpretation, ranging from a natural interstellar comet or exotic stellar fragment to more speculative hypotheses about artificial or technological origins. Resolving this paradox will require continued and detailed multi-wavelength observations during future close approaches using instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope and Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Until then, 3I Atlas remains a fascinating and enigmatic visitor, challenging our understanding of interstellar objects. This ambiguous status underscores the dynamic and evolving nature of scientific inquiry at the frontier of space exploration.